Good afternoon from the convention center here in the beautiful city of San Juan in Puerto Rico. It's day three of the CSI Predator US Pro Billiard Series, Medaya Light Open. And our next match for you is Ko Yi versus Tyler Steyer. Your referee for this one is Perry Anderson. It's two races to four. It's 10 ball, of course, it's cool shot. And calling the shots with me in the booth is Moscone Cup legend, Marcus Shamat. Good afternoon, Marcus. Hi, Mark. Nice to sit alongside you once again. This is day number three, yeah? Yeah, day number three. Shake hands. And the lag, Copigny, one of my favorite players to watch. Wow, that's a hard hit there on the lag from Copigny and a little bit soft from Tyler Steyer. <laughs> Unbelievably, Copigny has won that lag. Yeah, that wasn't too good. Best of legs they have done this week, I guess. Anyway, so, so two well-seasoned players. Obviously, Coupigny has have more titles under his belt with the World Championship, nine more World Championship title, of course, S stands out. Tyler Steyer, obviously Moscone Cup player, and he won the Kremlin Cup in in Russia. Yeah. Surely that term is not gonna happen for a few years with international players at least. Yeah, Things he's, are one going he's one of them players, isn't he, Tyler, who you'd think's won more, but he hasn't actually won that much yet, but I'm sure he's going to. I mean, he's working so hard on his game. He's one of the hardest workers in the in the world of pool. So but I don't see his name a lot in, in the US in the events. No, yeah, he's he not like really he a small tournament player. He, he likes to save himself for the big ones mm -hmm. and okay. use the rest of the time for coaching clinics and, and working on his own game of course okay. he doesn't get out of bed for those little tournaments but he's here playing for 25,000 first prize Marcus in this one here we go then have a look at this table Marcus what do you reckon uh, we're going to look at a safety here from Coupigny leaving distance Oh, he went for that, didn't he? Uh, a little thick. I think he wanted to hit it thinner. And leave the, the one by the short rail there and in the cube will further down on the table. Tyler Steyer with his own clothing line with Jam Up Apparel, who are one of our sponsors, of course, along with Kamui, Alpha Coin, Seabirds.com, Madaya Light, the main one. So, Nils Fahey's brother, American brother. <laughs> and they, they walk about the same, they look as about the same around the table. Just the younger version of Nils, I guess. <laughs> I'm surprised Nils is not here as well. Yeah, he normally comes to these. Busy with clinics, maybe. Oh, this is oh. a great shot. Really Beautiful. checked that cue ball up nicely. Decent shot. It's going to be interesting here, Mark, to see what kind of form he is going into the Moscone Cup, which is happening in a few weeks here. Time. Yeah. Not All that long pressure now, is, is going to fade there, Tyler Steyer. Huh? Oh yes, that's pressure of a different kind. He always gets a lot of stick as well from the European crowd. Oh, what a good hit that was. Nicely done. Now then, early tens do count in this, and I'm not saying he's going for this, but I'm just telling you, early tens do count, and he's going to put him behind the ten here, I would think. Marcus, just a nice safety shot. Easy hit though. I say easy. Nine could be slightly. Yes, so do you think Coupigny is top five in the world, in your opinion, Mark? Would you rate them top five in the world? Um, I'd certainly put him in my top five favorite favorites. Favorite. Yeah. Oh, he's missed it. He was certainly favourite to hit that, but he didn't. So it's ball in hand for Tyler. Early chance. 
Can I play a combo now? It might run the cubal into the five, breaking it up, or he's gonna try to play safety behind the two, lead the cubal behind the five. I think he's running into the two ball off of this. I think that's what he's playing, Marcus. He's playing this one ball to the top corner and running in to the five. Just like that. Great shot. Nicely done from Tyler. Tires, not Tyler. Tire, T tire. Tyler. Tyler. Tyler Steyer. Come on, Marcus. Wake up. <laughs> Did you have a late night? <laughs> not really. That jet lag is still uh, tough to beat. Jet setter like you, you must be used to it by now. How many countries have you been to, do you think, Oof, playing pole? 40, 50 maybe. Really? Yeah, I would think so, yeah. I've been to the weirdest places, places to play pool, Mark. <laughs> have you? <laughs> yeah. Well, this isn't weird where we are now. This is one of the most beautiful venues, isn't it, here in Puerto Rico, the convention centre. I'm already looking at flights for next year. Oh yeah. I want me. Yeah, I'm, I will come here again. It's beautiful. I like this. I like the people. I like the everything about it. The venue is amazing. It's like a different world, isn't it here? Sweden at this time is already snowing. Start to snow up. Watch out! Did he lose the cue ball here? No, he's okay. Kind of fell short here, Mark. I think Make it a little bit tougher. He can run it in, though, with a bit of right-hand English if necessary. He's looking to see if he's straight or not. Oh, he's got a little yeah. bit of an angle there. He's this fine. is no problem. Where he's gone you? for oh, the 10. 7-10 ten. Ten combination. That does surprise me, to be honest. Mind you, maybe he's played that because of the 8 and the 9. Slightly awkward, but... He's behind it, Mark, you see? Oh, yeah, he's laying pretty good. Perfect. He was in the final there when Winkachi won, uh, actually, Mark, in Austria. We were talking about it yesterday. Oh, was he? Yeah, he was in the final there. And it goes then, 1-0. Uh, referee Perry Anderson will set the balls up as we see the replay there. And we are getting down to the nitty gritty here on day three. By the end of today, we will know our quarter finalists. And then tomorrow we'll play quarter finals, semi finals, and the final. That's exciting, huh? And then the eight book kicks off. It's all kicking off, isn't it? It's all kicking <laughs> off. The juniors are here, they are in town, all practicing around the venue. going to be crowning four world champions here this week. Three juniors and the eight ball world champion. How's your eight ball, Marcus? Do you like a bit of eight ball? I'm good at eight ball. European champion in eight ball. Are you? Yeah. Wow. Semi-finalist in the world. I should really, I should really you read should up play. on you. I should read <laughs> up on you. got a pretty impressive resume I think did you hear ever read about the IPT tour uh, mark yeah that was was yeah. that Darren's no no in in the US ah. it's, uh, yes I've heard of it yeah famous guy what's his name again Jared Gerard something is it no Jerry he went to jail after it <laughs> <laughs> good friends with Mike Siegel <laughs> Well, first, in you know, one term, the first prize was 500,000 US. Wow. I guess it didn't last very long. No. <laughs> they had three events and then... So back at the table. Yeah, pushing out. Yeah, anyways, we played eight ball here on, on nappy cloth. Tight pockets, nappy. 
Yeah, and that like yeah. snooker table. Yeah, like snooker, yeah. yeah. It was a totally different game. It was tough. Well, a bit like uh, Chinese eight ball now, I guess, was it? Kind of. Yeah. But pool table, you yeah. Know. But you're saying tight pockets, what, four inch? Yeah, I think it was around four to four and a quarter, maybe. But the, the thing was that made it tougher was the nap, nappy. Yeah, yeah, I love the nap. Learning how to play the nap. You can mm. use it to your advantage mm. if you know. He's going for this, is he? This was a risky push out, this from Copigny. Overcut it, making sure you overcut it, right? Yeah, you don't pro hit pro them side. thick. Yeah, hit, miss the pro side, as they say. Copigny here with <coughs> his two brothers, Coping Chang and Coping Han. Chang. And Han, sorry. There's just three, three of them? Yeah, there's three of them, yeah. I thought it was only two. No, there's three. A little mosquito. <laughs> Coping Chung. That's mosquito. Oh. Yeah, Coping Chung. And then the youngest one is Coping Han. Mm -hmm. The tallest one of the three, actually. I had a great picture with those three in Vegas. I was really starstruck when I first met the Co brothers. He speaks some English nowadays, doesn't he? Yeah, he Copen does. Copen yeah. Copen yeah. does. The other two, not so much, but I'm brushing up on my Mandarin. Tyler Styley here with a long one. Bob. Yeah, this is one of them that you can really get the cue through the cue ball on this one, let it out. He's been given and taken in Moscone Cup, playing some good matches, mix it up with some not so good matches, in my opinion. Beautiful. Really Abil abilities, uh, ability is there, just a matter of Yeah, I think it's in his experience, head yeah. With Tyler. You watch him warming up before I remember in Vegas when he was warming up. The bleachers actually filled up just watching him practice, and he was chatting and laughing and playing shots that they were requesting him play. And then, as soon as the match starts, the whole persona changes, his mood changes, he becomes very, very serious. In my opinion, too serious. Mm -hmm. couldn't, couldn't relax and have a, enjoy the game, right? Yeah. If he could play like a like a Roberto Gomez or an Alex Pagulian kind of attitude, just like to see him try that. But you know, Biado. it's not him. So, but all the you know, good to watch as well. I do like watching Tyler. I do like his fundamentals. He works very hard on them. I admire anyone that puts a great effort. In twice or three times across here, look. Or will he just play the 5 8 combo? No, he's coming across. Yeah, across again for the 5 8. It's called the 8 in the corner. Nicely played. Taking his time here, making sure. Putting the pressure on Kupini. This is a loser side match, or the loser of this match. Goes home. Well, he's not going to go home. He's going to stay and play the eight ball, surely. <laughs> but at least he's going to be out of the tournament. left Felt a little bit wrong angle here on the six let's see what route he selects to go he went that way he's missing the 10 nicely perfect what a lovely shot that was yeah
Certainly got all the shots. He's got the ability. Yes, he's yet he's getting over the line, winning a major title. I think that's all it takes. You need you need you need the bottle. What do you call it in England? Bottle. Bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Handling the pressure day in and day out. I mean that, that's what that's what separates champions from great players. You know, it's you need that little bit extra. We started off very very good here, two zero up. And on table one, Chang Jung Ling is up against Joshua Filler, and they're 1-1 at the moment. If you Ooh. want to see that game, it's live on Billiard TV on YouTube. And all the games are live on kazoom.com. You can go there, register if you're not already registered. It's totally free to do so. And then you can choose which table you want to watch. There's some great matches going on around the arena at the moment and our very own Tony Robles is in action against Miguel Batista we'll keep you up to date with all the scores and if you want to know and keep an eye on them yourself anytime guys you're welcome to do that as well just go to probilliardseries.com and there's everything you need to know on there and we also have the ladies games going on at the moment they're also going to be down to the nitty gritty by the end of today. Side rail break from Tyler here. Try to make the one on the side, nothing. I think he's gonna leave a shot for Coupigny first. Yeah, he's gonna be sick about that. I thought he broke from, didn't he break from the centre-ish before? Uh -huh. And he made two balls, but he also made the white, didn't he? Did he I'm make the cue ball? I'm not sure. What I do know, it was a good break though. He didn't come up dry. So a first open shot for Coupigny. Let's see if he can get a good position here for the two ball. I guess the cuber is running into the <coughs> he's thinking about just stunning this in isn't he and leaving the cue ball sort of around the center of the table ish to avoid the traffic avoid having to go through traffic to just a little soft little draw off this I would think oh yes decided to come through wow look at that for a shot brilliant inside English mm -hmm. left hand English on the cue ball Spinning it round. Coupigny is one of those players, once he's in the zone, it looks like he can run out just for weeks. Make it look so easy in controlling that cue ball. Yeah, I watched him last night against Kazakis. Great match that was. Ooh, it was he's got yeah, a he kick caught on that it. a little bit. He got a skid, didn't he? Uh, I think he got a kick on it. Yeah, I'd love to see that again. A little bit of a skid. We call it a kick in snooker. Bad contact. Let's have a look. There you oh. see it. Well, the only good thing you can say about that is he did make the ball. And there's lots of arguments over what causes kicks. Sometimes it can be a bit of a bit of chalk on the cue ball. A bit of dampness, maybe. A bit of, bit of chalk on the object ball, even. You just don't know. But it does tend to happen on those softish run-through shots, doesn't it? The Where snooker happens more than pool, right? Not anymore. It used to, but yeah. not since they heat the tables now and keep mm -hmm. the temperature consistent, which they believed it was. More and more people now, of course, using different kinds of chalk, which are said to yes. alleviate a lot of the kicks now. You know, they don't stick to the cue ball, the new chalks, as much as the old ones do. Could have been a fly. On the cue ball, who kn who knows? Hasn't affected him too much though. Perfectly on the five ball here. Nice little draw between six and nine. Yeah, he needs to get a good angler here on the six because the the nine is creating a problem there for him, in order for him to come down for the seven. See. 
it's laying in the path so he needs to get a good angle that's why he's taking some extra time here is it enough yeah this is, is where enough? he doesn't want to be he doesn't want to be there oh she's made it very awkward well he can't reach this even you can't reach that coping yet i don't think eklund catchy could make that is he playing here Kutch is in the tournament. I think he's still in the winner's side. Yeah, he played. He's won one of these. Played against a guy from Peru last night. Pedro. The only guy I've seen taller than Kachi actually here. Drawing this big draw shot. Whoa didn't oh. get hold of that at all I think he was trying to just hold it wasn't <coughs> he to leave a longer a longer seven ball was he or was he trying to get past the is he on it I don't think so he'll be happy he can hit it I think He's caught that a bit thick. Well, a chance for Tyler to get on the hill here. Very uncharacteristic play. First of all, the position from six to seven, and then on that safety, completely mishit it. Tyler must be thinking Christmas has come early. Christmas has come early to Puerto Rico because they were putting Christmas decorations up in the hotel this mm -hmm. morning. Mm -hmm. I came down, I thought it was December the 25th. Thanksgiving coming up here in the States. What do you have in the UK? Roast? Roast turkey. Roast turkey, huh? Brussels sprouts. Pudding. Christmas pudding. <laughs> Brandy on top. Set light to it. Meanwhile, back to the table. Yeah, the American Tyler Stay going up three to nothing against Coupigny. Great start, isn't it? Dream start. Down goes the ten, and it's three nothing. Looking very, very confident. Let's just go around the room, Marcus, very quickly. Give you some scores, latest scores. Elise Kiu is 2-2 in their second set, but she lost the first set to Stephanie Mitchell. Chow beat Kim Newsom on a shootout. Amalia Matas also going through on a shootout against Bean Hung. What a result that is for... The young Spaniard. Armit losing out Ruben and Armit to the great Singaporean, actually. Silviana Lu. Keep those coming as we get them. Little Savannah Easton was in action as well. And she still is in action. She's a set to, to zero up, but they're 3-3 three, three in the second set. Jenny Atwell also going through. The legend Jen, Janet Atwell through in straight sets. Here we go then. Tyler breaking off for the first set in this one. Looked like a good break to me, but no reward for it. How's your 10 ball break, Marcus? Used to be a really good. <laughs> you a good breaker? Yeah, I think so. Used to be one of my strengths. What's, the most, what's the most balls you've ever made on the break? 
in Tembo. In Tembo, I think five. Wow, that's pretty strong. Not with magic wreck though. It was a regular triangle like this. Yeah, one, once in a while they, they, they drop in a certain way. You know? If you play a lot of pool, s sooner or later it's gonna be some weird reaction of the balls, right? I've just been given our 2 p.m. matches and they're looking very, very good. We're switching over to the women's tournament at 2 p.m. and we've got on table one Amalia Matas versus Christina to catch. It's going to be a great match, the young Spaniard against the Russian Christina to catch. And on this table, table two, the girl I just mentioned actually from Singapore, Sylviana Lu, is playing against Canada's Brittany Bryant. Mm -hmm. So another great two matches coming up for you. Meanwhile, back to this one. Tyler jumping over to the rail. Decent jump. Good shot. He played it with English, so it's so it's gonna travel on the rail and, and make contact with the one. What does he do here? Put him behind the ten, or does he play the bank? What does he do? I think he might put the cue behind the ten. Yeah, low right on the cue ball. Just make sure you don't scratch it. Draw it down behind the ten ball. Nicely done. I think we're going to see the jump stick again here, and he'll call the two probably. Airborne. Steyr Airways. Really pushing the boat out there. Played the two rail kick with the jump stick. Let's see if he's going to play a combination. Well, or is he's he going to play the what well, he's got to play the one ten surely, <laughs> hasn't he? I don't know. The layout is pretty good as well. This is missable. There's your answer. Trying to make S quick work of this fourth wreck. Doesn't want to work any overtime. Just wants to line that up in a complete straight line between the the cue ball, the one ball, and that ten ball, the all important ball. Tyler on the hill. Copigny needs to make this. He's made it. Very well done. So an early ten gives him an early win. In rack number four, three one now. And he gets the break. Does this make you want to get your cue out again, Marcus? Yeah, it's exciting to see him. It's insp inspiring to see the tables and uh, the equipment. The lightning is great. Just Predator just taking it to another level and really focusing on on the venue, making sure everything is good equipment-wise. Have you ever hit a ball on a Predator table? Never played a match on it, but I hit a ball, some balls here in the tournaments. Play nicely. So down 3-1, Kupini from Chinese Taipei, one of the superstars from over there. Dry break, I think. Yeah, the four railer was the ball that went closest there as we have another look. Watch the eight ball coming round, missing everything. 
also missing the pocket. Opportunity for Tyre. If he makes this one and get good position on the two. That would be the, a key for this rack, I think, Mark. Just make up your mind. You got enough time here. You can be? stun over to the oh side yeah. rail. Nicely done. Well, he's queuing beautifully, isn't he? must say, this is impressive stuff. And I hope Alex Laley's watching this. <laughs> Tyler, part of the Moscone team this year. Earl Strickland, Shane Van Boning, Skylar Woodward, Oscar Dominguez. He's taking his time here, making sure he's going to land good on his three ball. Which will make this run out a lot easier if it's if you're on line. If you line, stay in line. Did he hit hard enough? He took some extra time with it and doubting himself there. He caught it a bit thick, didn't he? In the end, the, the actual two ball, he caught it a little bit too thick, which took some pace out of the cue ball. So he's left a little bit of an angle on this three, but he's okay still. He can draw over to that or stun over to the side rail and back out for the four into the side. It's Not missed a the problem. eight. It's missed the eight. Yeah, it's a real feel shot, that. Great shot. He's feeling it at the moment. Back in line. Tyler knows he can't make any silly mistakes as well. You know, you're playing a, a player like Coupigny, which is, is, is gonna make you pay. This time it's only pressure that can get to you, I guess. Surely he's going to take his time making no. He's in control. Somebody else that's in control is Chang Jung Lin. He's taking the first set against Joshua Phillip over on table one. During the break, Marcus, I was watching a shootout between the legend Torsten Holtman and Alex Montpellier. And Alex went through in sudden death in yeah. that one. And he's back in action against now, Alex. Torsten still trying. He's playing Mickey Krause. Mickey Krause has taken the first set 4 0 there. But there's action all over the room. Nicely done. You don't want to be straight in on this. If he's exactly straight in, then he's going to leave himself a long night. Ah, he's pointing at the queue there, yeah. so I think he's got angle. He's got a slight angle here. He can either stun and stay in the s more in the centre of the table. He can run it through and bounce off the rail. Doesn't want to get straight, though. Well, he's got the right angle here. Just roll this in, Marcus. Back across towards the tent for the first set. Impressive stuff from Steyer. Yeah. He's taking advantage of the opportunities he gets. Beautiful. Oh, absolutely perfect. Look at this. How about this for a mat for the last tumble? Win the first set. I think I could pot that one, and Copigny's going to go off for a quick break, so we're going to go off for a quick break, but we'll be back very, very soon, guys. We're set to.
And we're back. There is the very impressive convention centre here in San Juan, Puerto Rico. I just have to correct something I said. Thanks to Aaron, who sent me a message. Silviana is not Singaporean. I was mixing it up. Her boyfriend is Singaporean, of course. Aloysius Yap. She is from Indonesia. So I'm sorry about that, guys. But I stand corrected. I'm not ashamed to admit when I'm wrong, Marcus. No. God knows I'm used to it. <laughs> we all <laughs> make mistakes, even you, Mark. Oh, especially me. This yeah, filler. There is, yeah, Josh Filler lost the first set to, to Chang, so the best thing he can hope for is a shootout. He just won his last match in a shootout as well, actually. I watched during the break. What do you do between matches? Do you have a walk around and sweat some action, Marcus? No, I don't like to watch some games. Don't, don't Once you? in a blue moon, but... If you're, I, in if wrong, you're in the wrong job then as a yeah. commentator <laughs> if you don't like watching... No, but if I, if I play the tournament myself, then I like to relax and think about other things. Go for coffee... No, or I mean now, like in between... Oh, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah in I between like, matches. I, w I watched Darren's match after I finished the last commentating. How's he playing? Well, he, he didn't get much chance. The second set, he was up 3 1, and there was some safety battles. Who was he playing against? He's playing that uh, Polish lad. What's his name again? Oh, yes, I know. Young Masio. Masio, yeah. Daniel Masio. Tyler's back, waiting for his opponent. And I was looking round the, the bleachers to see if I could spot Margaret Pfeffel over anywhere. She's normally somewhere. The, uh, there she is. I've spotted her. Tyler for a break. Thumbs her up. Ready to go, the second set here. With Tyler winning the first one in an impressive way against Coupigny. Mentioned Aloysius Yap just now. He's up against Jeff DeLuna at the moment. Here we go then. Let's have a look at this break. Marcus needs to make a ball. And he has made one. He's made two and put a little bit more into that one. Now, has he got a shot on the next ball? I'll tell you what, I'm impressed the way he breaks from that side well, uh, Mark. The best one so far in this tournament. Yeah, and look at this. Well, he's well known for his 10 ball break, isn't he? Does a lot of work with Shane Van Bonin as well, who's one of the, arguably one of the best 10 ball breakers in the world as well. Fedor Gorse is up there. Jason Shaw, not bad at a 10 ball break either. Well, you need a good break. It's like the serve in tennis nowadays. Without a good break in pool, you're not going to win any tournaments, Mark. No way. Safety. Yeah, that's a good analogy, that. Uh, a good comparison. It's like the, the serve in tennis. I've never heard it put like that before. Well, it is. I mean... Nowadays, the break is so big that if you think you're going to go to a pro tournament and win the tournament without breaking good, it's not going to happen. You need to get options. Even if you never miss a ball, it's, you're not going to get the opportunities at, that, at the table. I'm surprised Shane is not playing in this tournament. Yeah, he's openly admitted he's not a, a fan of the, of the format. doesn't really suit his game, I guess. Although I think he's good in short races, personally. He's good in, in any race. And in Temple, uh, the way he breaks is... Well, he will be here for the eight ball. Mm. As will Jason Shaw. The only European oh. not going to be here from the Moscone Cup side is Albin Ocean. Decided to have some family time. His sister's here, though, playing. But on the other hand, nowadays it's so many tournaments. I, gotta, I guess you got to pick them yourself, which one you're up for, right? You, wanna, you don't want to drain yourself and play too many tournaments. Yeah, in Europe, you've only got the Euro Tour, really. Uh, but there are a few matchroom events, of course, in the calendar. Yeah, but next year is going to be packed with tournaments. The US is the place to be, though, if you're looking for those smaller tournaments, you know, like the Derby City and the uh, International and all those kinds of little, the little memorial 
tournaments that they have are very popular here in the States, I know. And as you say, lots to pick and choose from. Copigny at the table. Bounce off this side rail out into the centre for the six. Good shot. Oh, he's gone too far, look. Oh, he's a different player than he was last night. Making unforced errors. Remember in the last set where he overran position, didn't get on the seven ball, played a dreadful safety on the seven and let Tyler in. And he's done the same here, look. Now needs a decent jump shot. Has to watch the cue ball here, could lose it off the side of the table. Oh, brilliant Ooh, shot. What How a shot. well did he hit that? Absolutely brilliant that's jump gonna shot. That's going to be on the Oh, that's going highlights. on the show reel, I'm telling you. And if there's Look not, at this. Beautiful. If that isn't on the show reel, I'm not commentating anymore. That's it. I'm <laughs> hanging up my microphone. <laughs> Beautiful recovery from Coupigny. Two balls left to win the first game in the second set. Check side. Yeah, decent run out there. Apart from, of course, the the bad positional shot, but he soon overcame that with that fabulous jump. Villa 2-0 up in the second set. Boom, boom. After losing the first set against reigning world eight ball champion. There it is again. Look, that amazing shot. Yeah, why not? Let's have another look. Mm, beautiful. And I'll tell you, that was so well executed. I think he's just left that on repeat. <laughs> just keep playing it all. I yeah. could watch it all day, actually. Yeah. He played with a good pace so he can get out of out from the rail there, so you get easy position, position for the seven. Referee Perry Anderson using the aero rack available on predator.com, 99 euros. There dollars. Dollars, sorry. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah, the change rate is about the same. It's now, about the it? same, isn't it? The pound, are you gonna, sterling. Are you going to buy some? <laughs> Would you like one of them? In your how, about, how about the pounds? Where, where are they at now? Pff, rubbish. Rate. Yeah. It's almost the same as the dollar as well. I, I say invest in cryptocurrency. Alpha coin. There you go. There's another one of our sponsors. Rums of Puerto Rico, you can see there. But the main one, Madaya Light. But this is the Madaya Light. Puerto Rico open. Copigny breaking off. Looking to level things up in sets and go to a shootout. One Makes a side. ball. Has See. he got a shot in the two? He has look. He's got a good look on that two ball. He's, so for, he's forced to shoot. Sorry, Mark. He's forced to shoot this side in the side pocket, though. The two ball. And the cube is going to run into the three, maybe. That is the problem. He could draw it. Good to see the Chinese Taipei and Taiwanese coming back into the sport. We do miss them. They're great for the game. Some real talent. Took his eye off the two ball. He was so concentrated on that three ball, on getting the, the contact on the three ball. Yeah, he was scared to hit it thick. That means the cue almost gonna, was going to scratch off the three in the side, see? That was probably why he... Yeah, he was trying to hit it a little bit thinner, wasn't he? Tyler. Chance. Tyler. This is, is perfect. Why? 
he's going to make Coupigny pay for his mistake. Yeah, Tyler was telling me he gets up every morning, no later than 7 a.m., hits the gym, does a bit of running as well, eats healthy. They've got a daily routine that they keep to. Very strict. Practice time's the same as well. Yeah. Regimental. Yeah, that's the way forward. I mean, years ago, it was... There was probably, probably nobody did that. Well, years ago, yeah. the only exercise they used to get was screwing their screw their cues together. Yeah, yeah. And it's the same in golf nowadays. I mean, they. The the, the thing they do as exercise is, is just as worth as the putting the hours on the golf, golf course, goal of playing golf, swinging the club, right? It's like now. I've always preferred the 19th hole on the golf course, to be honest. Well, Tyler. In control again. Has to be a little bit careful here. He's OK. saw the cue ball right hand spin well judged probably just just stun follow just a little bit if he's dead straight on this it's okay eight ball in the open eight to nine key shot so just a little stun follow here Marcus just a couple of inches maybe forward just like that. Mm -hmm. Probably the same shot again here. I don't mind stopping the cue ball where the seven is, Marcus. Yeah, he wants to have an angle on the eight so he can come down to the nine. Using two rails. That's, that's what he's looking at. Or exactly straight in so he can draw it. Well, he's going to have to draw this straight back now. Can't use a rail, can he? He can, but he needs to put power. Yeah, he Either way, he needs power. a stroke here. I, I like drawing straight back off this one. Eyes on the prize. And then that was the danger. It's fine. It's He's perfect. All right, yeah. Nice shot. Thought he was going to end up on top of it. He's feeding it at the moment. It's good to see, because he has got a really nice style when he's flowing. He's playing really good this match, that's for sure. Making Kupinje pay for every mistake he makes. A man from Oshkosh in Wisconsin. And it goes. 1-1. One, one. Second set leads by one set to zero. Playing for $25,000, the winner of this tournament. 15 to the runner-up. Got some scores for us, Marcus. Let me just refresh that for you, mate. <laughs> Go ahead, Mark. Yuki. Yuki, oh. Akar Ariyama, there she is, look. Mrs. Mrs. Tyler Steyer. Margaret Fefilova Steyer, of course. Still in the tournament, playing very well. Watching her husband perform well. I've always wanted a wife that loves Paul. Well, it's I've never I've over yet, Mark. I've you I've still have pl plenty of time. What, with a face like this? <laughs> And the tone on, like on mine, I don't stand only a, a mother, chance. Only a mother can love that face noise. <laughs> <laughs> Even my mum gets rid of me. Can't bear to look at me. Uh, you'll find somebody, find love. I'm, I'm escalated to gold monk nowadays. First it's regular monk if you live 
by yourself for a while. But you, if you if you graduate up to gold monk, where I'm at now, I think I'm at platinum. <laughs> What a powerful break that was. Is the four going to drop? Yes. The four is in and it's got Gosh, a shot. I mean, you've got to say, deserve to make a ball with that. That hurt my eardrums. Look at that. Airborne with the cue ball as well. Thought the five was going to go. Then the four did. And he's perfect on the one ball here. Yeah, he's going to play the two five. It's just a matter of where he wants to leave the cue ball. He wants to have an angle so he can leave the two over the side pocket as well. Yeah, just replace the five with the two would be ideal. It's come across. One rail, I would. Center ball. Like this. Well. Doesn't want to put a lot of pace in this. Doesn't want to lose the two ball. He's been clinical this match. No, no mistake. No safety mistakes. No miss. No errors. One safety mistake. That's it on the two ball when he tried to run the cue ball past the ten ball and just caught it. But that was the only one, and I think that was the only rack. Jeremy's, Jeremy's going to be happy watching this. If he's watching. Hi, Jeremy. One of his, one Double J. Of, one of his players. Yeah, and I know. Performing well, it's he, always nice to see. He really believes in uh, Tyler as well. I know Tyler goes and spends time at Jeremy's house practicing and talking about stuff. And I think Jeremy Jones is a good captain, actually, for the US. I wonder if he's going to have his cues with him just in case. A little short on this. He wanted to come up further up, but he's fine. He should to come on the other side of the six, like this. Perfect. Yeah, not quite far enough, but it's just going to have to use the rail again then. It's interesting to watch this, actually, because is Tyler gonna keep this up the whole match? Is he gonna win and beat oh. a great player like Cooper Nee? Well, he needs two more racks after this one to win the match. And he's perfect again on this seven. Just needs an extension on his cue. Looks very composed. Determined. Focused. He needs to be Fa facing an animal like Coupigny is sitting down. He's waiting for an option. Oh, oh, look at this for a shot with the extension on the queue as well. As he walked back to his chair, he looked back and admired his work because that was a brilliant shot. May have looked simple, but to judge the pace of that, Marcus. Perfect. You can say he's in the zone, right? He's as good as I've seen him play yeah, he's ever. In the, in the zone and in the world of his own at the moment, everything is just clicking. Every positional shot going as planned. Nice draw shot back here now for the 10 ball. Yeah, right where he's pointing his cue. And he knows that man sat there that he's got a match on his hands here. Beautiful. Two to one in favor of Tyler Styler. Yeah, and this is a loser's round match. So what we're gonna have 32 players after this round. Yeah, and then we'll be down to 16. Last 16, and then tomorrow morning we come back with the last eight. We'll have the quarterfinals, semi-finals, and final mm, tomorrow. Exciting. exciting. Well, the way Tyler's playing, you know, there's a good chance he, he could be there. 
Well, breaking like this and playing like this, obviously, it yeah, he can go all the way. It's well, you like mentioned how important the break was, and also you said he's breaking better than you've seen anyone break as well. Well, couple that with the with positional play and his focus. You know, the, he's looking the full package at the moment. Jeremy Jones, you just mentioned, must be loving this. Yeah, I remember when I was the captain of the Euro European team, you always stay home and watch online the matches, your players, see how they're performing. It's, it's always nice to see when they are in the zone, playing well. And I mean, surely Jeremy's got to be happy with his game so far. Oh, I think four right. ball went so close, four railer went so close. Things are happening for him as well. No shot, Enough open shot look. for Coupigny. Okay, didn't hit them quite. Quite as good as quite previous as good, breaks. Not as square. Yeah, he's going to have to kick this. He's not going to be pushing here. Few mistakes from Coupigny in this match, though. Not easy errors. Right? Just a couple, that's all it takes, obviously. Tyler's been pu uh, punishing him, taking full advantage of him. Yeah, I suppose the nice thing being one of three brothers, if, if you're the one that goes out first, you've got your other two brothers to go and watch and cheer on. Still gives you an interest in the tournament, doesn't it? That was a good, good kick shot from Kupini, actually little distance. Yeah, Tyler again bringing both cues with him. Look at this. That's some knowledge for you right there. Yeah, I just wondered if he was considering the jump shot here, but he's not. Possible combo on the nine. If he jumped it, of course, but not like this. You know, when you're playing good, also the good things are going to happen as well, right? Yeah, you got a little bit of what they call a jelly roll there. Called it all wrong. Yeah, he's made sure he hit it. Two rails. Top and side. I went one. Is he going to leave it? Yep. His body language is not great at the moment, coping years. It's Tyler with the opportunity here. Got great games coming up for you as well. Mika Eminen still in. He'll be up against Shev, uh, Wojtek Shevchek. Masato Yashioko is up against young Joey Tate. The future Moscone player for the States, I'm pretty sure. Noki Oit will be against Sullivan Clark, who's travelled all the way from New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Sullivan, I think there's about four of them here from New Zealand. Sanjin Perlovanovic is up against Dennis Grabe. That's a great battle of the Europeans, that one. Oh, first mistake from Tyler. He is human after all. This is what Kupini, he, he needs one little chance, one little opening, and he can turn this set. Yeah, four ball awkward, but has the, the combo. We all know what this man can do on the table. There's no doubt in our minds he can turn this around, especially when. Yeah, and the right attitude is, you know, you're sat in your chair, you just have to hope that you get another opportunity and when you come back, be ready for it. Keep your focus when you're sat in your chair. I wonder, will he consider 
running into this, or is he just going to draw and leave the combo? Yeah. Uh, I don't recognise him. Well, this is so unlike Copigny. He's smiling. Trying Deep to nick a bit of angle, yeah. maybe, just to... Trying to get something going, and he just... Some days, it's not just there. Your focus, your your coordination, everything. Getting right behind this combo. He's called it. And the four ball will be squirting out towards this bottom right-hand corner as we look now. So, not too hard just enough to get the cue ball away from the side rail four ball over the corner oh. well this has gone a little bit wrong will he consider the 10 what if he called a 10 I think he's called thin. the 10 yep he just hit that a little bit hard didn't he mm. or cut it yeah he almost missed the 9 actually hit it so thin 10 ball then to go on the hill, second set. Oof. Well, you can safely say, Pinyi is going to take this rack. Wow. Wow. I what a turnaround. Almost unmissable, I thought that. And in it goes. So. We're tied at two. It just shows you, doesn't it, that just that one little lapse maybe in concentration on that nine ball combo. Yeah, I mean, why, why, why would he hit that so thin? You know, what, what well, could have trying, gone wrong? He was not, right not, behind it, wasn't he? Yeah, but something, you're not trying to hit it bad, you know. He no, but, I'm, he's but made of course sure you're he not made trying, but yeah. what went wrong, you know? what? The I think it was, he hit it a little bit too hard as well, the combo, and too thin and that caused that he got out of line on the four I guess yeah, he just lost the four ball didn't yeah. he Tr four ball traveled a couple of mistakes here from Tyler maybe feeling it that like well we saw more in that one rack than we've seen in the whole match so far two maybe he's feeling it like he's about to take down one of the big guns in Coupigny. Well, one could argue that it's been, that has been Tyler's Achilles heel, shall we say, you know, getting over the line. You mentioned it right at the start. Oh, nearly made the one in the side. Seven went down. Made the seven, though. Does he have on the one? He's got a shot at the one. Lost the cue ball a little bit. Did put a lot more into it, though. Almost made the six as well. Oh, he can snick this one in. Take the paint off it. This is all what Coupigny needs. Some, some, uh, just one little mistake from Tyler. Could go get him back in the match. Could go three or four rows here and leave the two into the, the side even. He's cutting this in the corner. He called it in the corner. Swinging the cubal around. He wants, he wants to have something going on. Well, something happen. If he could end up with a cubal where it is now, it wouldn't be too bad, would it? First, with a lot of left spin, make this one ball. He's Maybe. made it court of 10 mm, he's oh. okay though he's on it into the top corner it slides past the three and now all of a sudden in just one shot the whole mood of this match has changed and even the little jelly roll there two ball in the corner he passes the three so that's not the problem he's just composing himself making sure he's not gonna land behind the eight or the four yeah look 
looking to me like he's trying to find the gap between the four and the eight. Just a little stun over, maybe. Nicely played. angle on the four run up for the five I'm looking to see if the nine passes the ten or not doesn't matter if it doesn't other options you can play it in the side if he wants Joshua Filler and Chang Jung Lin I mean a shootout. Could we be seeing one here, Marcus? Well, the table has turned definitely here. Jim White said to me. What is this? Came up short. After the last match. He said, I think we're going to see a lot more shootouts as we get towards the business end of the tournament. And you do, of course, because the matches are more close. So you are going to get more shootouts. It averages out about 33 to 38% overall percentage of shootouts. Oh, wow, that's... I he's can't, running. and it's again, he's, I'm sure he was concentrating on the nine ball there, getting the carom on the nine ball, and he's just taken his eye off the, the six. There's no other explanation for missing that. I mean, you don't misjudge a cut like that, do you? I'm just uh, thinking he's struggling with his game a little bit, because he's taking more time than he usually does. Not 100% sure where he, what he's doing. And he fell short, kind of come up short on that six ball there. Yeah. Yeah, he did finish short on it, which changed, obviously, the plan that he had in his head. Because I'm sure he just wanted to stop the cue ball from the six for the nine past the ten. And then in, he's then decided he has to try and move the nine. I see Tyler here with a little tricky six ball, right? Yeah, he's got to avoid the scratch here. He needs to avoid it. He, he needs to hit the point. One of the points he needs. He's not playing, playing it. Safe? He's not playing it. He's playing safe. Nicely wow. done. A wise shot. Good speed. Yeah, very good speed. And now he's called Corner. the bank. But this is very makeable. He's focused, look. He's probably thinking, I wonder what Margaret's going to make me for dinner tonight if I win my match. <laughs> or maybe he's thinking what he's going to cook for her. There's no cooking here. He, loves, they're not he, lo he loves to do a bit of spaghetti bolognese, she Look told me. Nice oh, bank. Oh, nice shot. He redeemed himself. He was all in there. What if he can get his game together? Yeah, you could say that when Ko Pinyi missed that six ball, he got a little bit of a roll. To be lucky enough just to leave only a scratch for Tyler. And that's a nice shot. Roll this in. And he's going to be on the hill. Istanbul to go ahead three. Three games to two. The second set. Down goes the 10. And it goes. I'm wondering if no, Tyler's going to stay. Both players have had a break. Oh, we're not going to have any break. There's no, no rest for the wicked, Marcus. We've got another match coming up at 2 p.m. for you. And I'm going to be with the great Jim White for the next one over on table one 
I'm really looking forward to that. It's going to be Amalia Matas from Spain against Christina to catch. And on this table, table two, it's going to be Silvania Lu from Indonesia against Canada's own Brittany Bryant. So two more great matches and lots more to come. We're not finished with this one yet. This could still be dramatic. That man there wants a shootout. And the man taking a sip of water on the left of your screens. He doesn't want a shootout. So really put a little bit more into this break. Will he go all out? 100% here. Yeah, and I cue just ball. heard that oh, the cue ball's gone in the side. Joshua Filler and Chang Jung Lin are at sudden death in the shootout if you want to watch that guys we don't blame you going away very very quickly to watch that that's on youtube on billiard tv and the loser of that game is out as will be the loser of this one ball in hand there's some heavy hitters there huh? filler and chang one of the one of the big guns is going to be out. One of the favorites to win this tournament. Needs to hold himself together here. Making sure he lands good on this three ball. He's a bit awkward over the seven ball. Just get to the edge of it, he's okay. Mind the six ball though, don't go too far. He's fine. So Tyler here. Drawing this. See shot, one, two, three, rails up, well, and he missed it. Well, confirm also Joshua Filler has knocked out Chang Jung Ling in a shootout, sudden death, 5-4, as we see the replay of an unbelievable miss from Tyler Steyer. Got to go Rao first here, Copigny. Needs to avoid the seven. Needs to swing that cue ball around. This is perfect for the four in the side. Has he got an angle? Well, from that face, no. He's too straight. I don't think the five passes ten though. That's what's creating a problem for him here. Otherwise, he would have been. I think it might do, look, looking from that camera angle. Well, he can shoot the four off the nine as well. If you need to. Yeah, but what's that going to give you? Yeah, it's not going to do any. It's not going to give you any better angle. Might even, might even get a scratch as well, <laughs> you know. You might even get a scratch off the eight. Let's see if he can miss the miss the contact on the eight. Okay. Just took his punishment. I guess the took the medicine. Passes. He's looking at it. Must big go into the one half of the pocket at least. Big big shot coming up here. Is the key shot this rack? If he makes it, I think we're going to shoot out. Seconds, seven. Missed, Missed it. it. That 
wasn't easy. Was it? Wasn't a lot of room. Yeah, and he hasn't been on his A game he either up. in this particular match. He got up a little bit there. Did you see yeah, from he the did shot? get up. That's pressure. He's playing playing the ten ball. He's called the ten, Marcus. We've seen some mistake now from from Tyler as well. The end of his match, he was clinical. He was he perfect. Looked 20, Twenty minutes ago, he was perfect up to two zero. Was it two zero in this set? He's drawing off off the ten. Nice shot. Beautiful. So a long six ball. This is. This is now another key shot. Nothing's it easy. Is it? it was a good shot here. See. Yeah. yeah make very sure good he shot. made it and used the ten as. Used the ten as a rail, didn't he, to draw off. Long six ball. They stand out. Nice one. Use the whole pocket there. like Hill Hill. Down goes to eight, nine and ten left. For Tyler to make it three apiece. Second set. So one game for it all and Either we go to shoot out or Tyler is gonna be heading to the next round. Well, so many mistakes in that particular rack, but it was, of course, the most important rack of this second set as well. So Well the thing there was if it Coupin E would land a little bit better on that four ball where he landed kind of straight in, it couldn't go anywhere. It would have been game over, I think. But playing rail first on the three, which Tyler hung up there, it's, it's hard to really control the speed around the table. Yeah, that that six ball was in the last rack. It was a big turning point as well, wasn't it? Referee Perry Anderson getting those balls as tight as possible. Doesn't want any gaps. Don't leave any gaps, ref. So, big break coming up. Expect fireworks off this break. Seven goes down. Nice kick on Four the four six. Yeah, nicely on the one ball. This Tyler is it. Style this is the chance to close out this match. Beautiful. I wonder if the three passes in the side, if it goes there. Not passes, if it goes. It's kind of narrow, see, from the angle view here. Yeah, it goes, but you got to land well on it. Audience is getting closer to this table. They like drama. They like tight, nice matches big, with the big players. See how they can handle the pressure. Yeah, another big, Tyler. another big plus about these events, Marcus, is the league events that they run alongside the pro events. You know, automatically fills the venues with interested spectators who between matches can come over and 
watch all the action, watch all their favourite players that they might not ordinarily get to see. 44 different countries come together in the two events that we're running alongside each other at the moment, the men's and women's Madaya Light Championships. Uh, that's not ideal. He that's not good, is it? Is he playing safety? He must be playing Stick. safety. He's not going to be playing the three in the side off from there. I don't think so. Sticker Rooney. Oh, has he misjudged it? Oh, he's misjudged it. There's a shot at this. You can slice this down the rail. One of the four passes the eight. If it yes, does. Yes, it does. Absolutely does. If it does, Kupini has got a great chance here. I don't think he thought he's going to be back at the table with the opportunity at least. Maybe behind the ball, but. Not with an open shot, surely. Yeah, he's just composing himself, making sure he's cutting it nicely. Not overhitting it too hard. It's a natural. Yeah. Natural uh, p position for the four here. He's, He's all in here. There's no way back. He's missed it, has he? No, he's got it. Oof. Slid in <laughs> off the new cloth. He's on the four ball past the eight. Watch this again. I thought he hang it up. Barely went in. No extension left. What a swing in this match. Well, Tyler was off to a flyer. Yeah, I thought he kind of played a uh, weird position for the, for the three ball there. He could have come across closer to the three. At least made the safety easier than it was because you know there was still distance. He was cutting the the three ball. The thing is against these plays, you gotta earn it. And Tyler did not earn it in that match, in this set, winning the match. But now it's gonna be a shootout, I think. Yeah, just draw back a few inches here. Not too much. You don't want to be coming close to the tent, so just a little bit of a draw. So it is going to be a shootout. And I'm not sure whether the players are going to take a quick bath and break or not. I think they are. Tyler's Tyler, gone. glove off. He's going. Copigny, he's going to go out as well. And we're going to go out, but we will be back very soon, guys. Don't go Shoot anywhere. We've got next. a shootout coming next.
you're back. Me and Mark White here is next, next to me. Yeah, we've we'll got a, a shootout, shootout, mate, yeah. coming up. So the ten ball is placed just behind the head spot where it's racked in the rack, actually. And each player will have four shots each. We'll play two from either side. The ten ball has to go straight in. And then after four shots each, if we're still level, we'll go to sudden death. And the diamond, well, the, the plate that you have to play the cue ball from, comes back from the head string, back one diamond. Make it tougher, yeah. Make it even tougher. Torturous for the players, but so dramatic and entertaining for us, the viewers. What a swing of turns. Who's got the momentum here? I guess it's Kupin Yi. I mean, I, he, I think probably, so. he, he probably thought it was over when once at Hill Hill, Tyler broke well and got an open shot. Yeah, when he missed that three ball, it all changed. Kupin Yi must have thought, well, I'm out now. Basically, this is a free swing for him. Yeah, easy, kind of easy mistake there from Tyler. So Tyler just getting the, the balls out of those corner pockets and I've got to say his body language doesn't look great Opinion Yeet walks back into the arena referee that's all we need now where's the referee there he is and there you see the graphic showing what I was just explaining to you four innings each alternate sides and after four shots each, whoever has the highest score will win. Kupin, you go first. Taiwanese superstar. We've seen this played different ways. Some just roll it in plain ball. Others just put a bit of low English on the cue ball and swing it round. Three rails. Down goes the 10 first blood for Taiwan. The cold face killer. <laughs> Obviously, I think it's an advantage to go first. If, of course, if. Well, if you, you make it. If you make it. If you don't, it's it a disadvantage. Yeah, and it puts your opponent under pressure. Now, Tyler, obviously, forced to response. Wow, it was a it. long way. Oh, wow, bit of impetuousness there from Tyler. Yeah, and he's feeling it now because he had this match in the bag. And you've got to feel sorry for the guy. He missed that by quite some distance. So this is a big shot Can't coming up here. Can't believe it. Huge this. advantage if he can make this one. It's massive, this one. Well, if Ko Pinyi wins this match, he really has got out of jail for nothing. I agree with you, Mark. Tyler was smooth sailing. Wow, oh, he's missed it as well. And he got up off that, I think. So now, Tyler. It's not over. Still. With a glimmer of hope. Oh, he's missed it the same place that Tyler missed it. I don't think Mark... She's nervous. She's, she she's can't even standing up, she's isn't standing she? Yeah. She can't even sit down. It's too much nervous for the wifey. Tyler. Is he going to make this one? All square. Where's the cue ball? Uh, it's it's the middle right. of the table, Mark. And they are, it's worth mentioning, still on the shot clock. Still only got 30 seconds and no extension. Just grazed the left drawer of the pocket there. But it went, it was a, a much a much smoother shot than his first one. He seemed to 
Put a bit of a quick stroke in on the first one. Now Copigny to go ahead once again with 1-1. One, one. Wow. Would you believe it? I think Copigny is... Uh <laughs> I don't know what to say. But it's, uh, it's not his best performance. No, it's you know, well if he did win this, he really would have won it against the runner play because he hasn't played great, as you said. He hasn't broken great. He hasn't taken his chances when he's had them. And that was another chance. Wow, Tyler as well gone wide of the mark, reminiscent of his first shot in this shootout. I feel like the way this shootout is going, the ones the one who wants it the most is gonna is gonna win it. Because it's it feels like it's, it's weighing. It's like weighing now. Nobody's showing that they wanna lead. Yeah, need to take it by the scruff of the neck and really, really focus. As you say, who wants it most? Who's got that little bit extra? The desire. And oh. the thing about this shooter is you, you don't have, you can't complain about no, nothing else. You can only complain about yourself. There's no unluck, there's no luck, or you know, people say, I got unlucky. Yeah, there's no point. unlucky. It's not like an extra rack, is it, where you know, you can make a lucky. Yeah, shot, yeah. make a lucky ball on the exactly, break and then yeah, get a yeah. nice one ten combo yeah. or something like that, you know? Yeah, you can only blame yourself from here. You have when you have a chance, even though Tyler is is uh, right behind. Well, he Tyler must make this. If he doesn't, he's out of this year's Madaya Light Puerto Rico Open here in the convention centre. He must make it. Made and it. he does make it. Where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? Oh my God. Some drama here is sick. What a way to lose. And I did mention that the first time. And that is the danger of playing that ball like that. It's the second mm -hmm. time I've seen that happen. Marcus Shamat, thank you so much. Thank you, That Mark. was so much fun. What we'll end. be back soon, guys, with another match for you at 2 p.m. local time. Whatever you're doing, come back then. See you soon.